Paper mache insects with Miss Bowley. So these lessons are broken down into parts. So for this part, we're going to be building the armature. We're going to be building what we are going to be putting the paper mache on top of. So keep watching to see what I mean. You're going to need some pictures of insects, which we've provided on Google Classroom. You're going to need some newspaper. If you can't find any newspaper, if you don't have any newspaper, you can use scrap paper from your recycling. Um, I've used paper bags in the past for this kind of project. Um, and plastic bags work well as well. I have a lot of plastic bags um, from back when grocery stores used to use them. And so um, if you do have that at home, that would work for this project as well. Masking tape is the best type of tape for this project. Other types of tape kind of make it difficult for the paper mache to stick onto. So I really recommend masking tape if possible. And you may choose to use other recycling materials like um, card cardboard tubes or cardboard or egg cartons, something else, depending on what kind of insect you decide to make. You may also need scissors and maybe need some learning coach help, um, specifically in just like holding the objects in place while you tape them. So you're the boss of the building, you're like the engineer here, but your learning coach might need to help out with just an extra pair of hands to hold things or to rip pieces of tape for you. All right, let's get started. So first of all, let's have a look at some of the recycling that I have grabbed for this project. So I've got some plastic bags because they can be smushed up into balls for this project. I have a paper bag and some newspaper. If you can find newspaper, that's great. And I grabbed some other recycling materials. I'll probably use those straws later on for the legs. And I got some cardboard tubes, egg cartons, etc. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to start out with my masking tape. Masking tape is, as I mentioned before, my top choice for the type of tape to use for this project. And you're going to see why. Um, so first I'm going to start with plastic bags and my masking tape. So I'm wrapping up my plastic bag. And if you only have newspaper, that's fine. You can just use your newspaper. You're going to ball up your newspaper into a little ball. So I'm looking at a picture of a bee. And it's kind of, this is kind of um, what I'm thinking is going to be the thorax. So I'm making it kind of long and skinny and then I'm wrapping my tape around so that it stays in that long and skinny shape. This is where you may need some help. I suggest doing little um, pieces of tape and sticking them to the edge of your table like this. So how much tape should you use? Well, um, you want to leave some space, which isn't taped, um, so that the paper mache can kind of stick onto the, um, the, the balled up paper or balled up plastic. Um, the paper mache kind of has a bit of a harder time sticking onto the tape. But we also want to have enough tape that our object stays in the shape that we want it to be in. So you kind of get to decide. Um, but yeah, there's my, my bee's um, thorax. And now I'm going to do a, a demonstration of what it's like with newspaper. It's the same as the plastic bag, same process. I'm going to take it and I'm going to smush it down. As, as kind of small as I can. And then for this, I want this to be the bee's head. So I'm just judging and seeing if it's too big or too small or just right. And I feel like it's a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, un, I'm opening that up, I'm unballing it. I'm just gonna rip off a little piece of that paper. So it's a smaller piece of paper. 
and then I'm gonna smush it up and crumple it up. It's kind of like, I don't know, when you're making a snowball and you're, you're using both of your hands uh, to smush it down as, and pack it as tightly as you can. And now I'm using um, my thumb to start the tape and then just wrapping it. And again, this is where your learning coach may need to help hold the, the ball or rip the tape for you. Um, and you can use smaller pieces of tape if that works better for you. Because um, my hands are large adult sized hands and yours are a bit smaller. So keep in mind, you might use a different method or different technique than me. So now that's my bee's head and it's thorax and now I'm going to make one more segment, one more ball of newspaper to be the abdomen. So for most of the insects that you will be making, you're going to have those three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. All right, so what I did for that was I took uh, one big piece of newspaper and I, I balled it up because I'm going to do a bit of a bigger ball than what the head is and um, I ripped off a little piece for the head, so I'm, I'm assuming that will be good. And I ended up actually putting some more so I can wrap more newspaper on top if I wanna make the ball bigger. So I wanna make it smaller, I rip some of the paper off. If I wanna make it bigger, I just wrap some more paper on. So I've taped that ball so that it stays in the shape of a ball. And now I have my three parts. So now what I need to do is tape those three parts together so they all stick together in one big insect body, okay? I'm just gonna take small pieces of tape. They could be some of the ones I, I put onto the edge of my table if you want. I'm gonna stick that on the head and then I'm gonna stick the remainder of it, the leftover piece, onto the thorax. And then whoop, it's not really sticking on because it's only taped in one spot. So I'm gonna tape it on the back using the same method. And now it's there steady and I can tape the sides as well, which I'm gonna fast forward that part because I think that you get the idea. Okay, so I've got it taped in four places and it's really securely attached. And I'm gonna repeat the same exact process. I'm gonna tape the abdomen on. So taping the one side, leaving a space of, of tape, smoosh them together pretty tightly, and then there we go. And repeat that process on the other side and the two um, opposite ends as well if you want. All right, so now I have all three of the pieces attached and I, I'm just going to test it to make sure they're all pretty securely attached. Um, so I'm just kind of wiggling it and just making sure that it's all good. And if I notice that there needs to be some more tape, then I'll just go and add another piece. So I am not going to be adding any legs or wings or anything like that. I'm just making the body. So there we go, and I'm ready for paste now. Thanks for watching.